and Sergeant Dorsey. What do you make of the city disbanding the Scorpion unit? Well, listen, understand this. The fish rots from the head. The police chief is now in damage control, and she understands she serves at the pleasure of the mayor, and she's going to do everything she can to try to uh, change the narrative, if you will. She stood by and allowed these officers to remain on a unit, some of them with only two years on the job, where they were uh, uh, being complained about by the community because of this uh, extra aggressive posture that they take. And she did nothing until um, we wind up with the thing, with the situation that makes nationwide uh, news. She's disbanded the unit. Uh, five officers have been fired. Just like she fired those five, she can fire with the same efficiency and expediency everybody else who stood by and acquiesced that misconduct. There were other officers from other agencies that were there. So we know that these officers on the Scorpion squad didn't worry about anybody showing up and seeing them misbehaving. I'm certain this is how they get down. This is what they do. They did it too easily. And for her to say, well, I don't have a whole bunch of sergeants, I don't have anybody to oversee these guys, is um, inexcusable. And so they need to go, she needs to go. Detective Claxton, I want you, your thoughts too on the disbanding of the Scorpion unit. And if you could just talk us through why units like this exist and why they can be problematic. Well, it's not hugely significant that they would disband this unit. It, 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 it should be disbanded at the very least. Uh, but what commonly occurs in police agencies is that you just change the acronym, change the name, perhaps uh, indicate that you're changing the focus of this particular uh, enforcement group. You know, these, these, these groups, this Scorpion group, uh, there are names uh, throughout the communities, throughout this uh, nation, of similarly situated uh, law enforcement uh, units that involve plainclothes patrols supposedly targeting violent uh, crime and uh, are known as, in some places, the Jump Out Boys, sometimes Midnight Marauders. Sometimes they have fancy acronyms like Scorpion. Sometimes they just call Street Crime Unit, as is the case uh, in, in New York. But, uh, and if you, do, if you don't have a, a significant a supervisory uh, presence in these units, if you don't have high level of accountability within these units, if you're not, if you're acting hands off while these units are operating with impunity throughout the community, then it's, it's only a matter of time before you have some uh, high level tragedies. Moving forward, I'm sure that uh, this, uh, this agency, along with other agencies, will be taking additional steps, but they're not going to get rid of these plain clothes, sometimes undercover mm -hmm. units uh, in as far as fighting crime, because that's what supports this current outdated policing model. Right, a rebrand instead of an actual disbanding. Uh, Sergeant Dorsey, we're obviously making a choice not to show some of the worst moments on the video. I, I believe you have seen it. And what did it tell you about that stop and policing in this situation? Well, that the officers were punishing Mr. Nichols. We hear them on their um, police radios uh, creating an audio record to substantiate uh, this use of force that should have never occurred. We hear them manufacturing probable cause. They lied from start to finish. Uh, they said that he was involved in a reckless driving situation, which is just an infraction. Uh, we know that not to be true per the chief's statements. They lied and said that he was uh, resisting, that he was fighting, punching at them, grabbing for their weapons. And then they went to his mother's home and lied to her and said, we've arrested your son for DUI. We had to mace him, pepper spray him, and he's on his way to the hospital, and we're going to treat him and then book him so you can't go to the hospital to see him. They lied about everything. And I'm certain that that's why the police chief decided to look at that Sky Cop video to see exactly what went on. And once she realized what she was dealing with, then she had to put that fire out that she allowed to smolder for over a year. And know this, those 500 arrests that they made, uh, those officers who lied are all tainted individuals. And every arrest report should now be dismissed by the district attorney. He's got work to do as well. Detective Claxton, I mean, the response from other police departments across this country has been generally condemnation of the officers. I wonder what you make of that. Uh, it's other departments trying to keep their hands as clean as possible, recognizing and realizing that this is an institutional problem. It's a problem with modern day policing, if you will, uh, and the reluctance of agencies to move towards a more holistic public safety model, which would uh, lessen the, the likelihood of these in, these uh, uh, incidents occurring. Uh, let's be clear about something. What we witnessed 
uh, occur that Mr. Nichols was a sadistic uh, beating, a public lynching, and it should be addressed and handled uh, just as it is a public lynching. Uh, but police agencies across the nation will snap back to the way they normally do business, and it will continue with this outdated policing model, and we'll have additional fatal encounters of, uh, of, of black people primarily, but uh, just fatal encounters to civilians. Thank you.